Yeah, because um, they are taking so much money from me, and I'm I have it with least the network, at least the one network that's really better. What they're giving to me. Yes. And um, I just don't know how to do it, so that's why I asked for the session today. Yeah, no problem. And even with my um, uh, even with my um. Uh, the secret, you know, um, I want to do, I want to market better with them. Okay. And I know I can market better with my capture pages. Yeah, definitely. I should just talk to the people. Okay. Okay, there you go. All right, so I'll take a look at this really quick. I'm going to give you my, um, my credentials on there. I think it looked like the way it looked that um, Tyson did this mm. for Janessa, the way it looked. Okay. Some of the things that Janessa is coming up with is like Tyson built it sometimes. <laughs> But some of the things, some of the things I've seen that I already know, that I didn't know until I'm Mike Tyson. Gotcha. Yeah, these are the new style of web pages that are coming out, which is basically having one continuous page. Um, so we'll see what we've got here. Like I, I like. I had like 30 leads in one day. I said, wow, it would have been awesome if that went over straight to my leads to the network. Yeah. Which we can do, so. I have to say that 20 extra dollars that I'm putting yeah, out there yeah. for the system. Yeah. They're using the, it looks to be the same exact software. It looks like it does. Yeah, this is going to be pretty much the same exact thing. So it it, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, we can definitely uh, get this moved over. So let me just see. Some of their funnels in Okay. There's like something here. So it's going to to YouTube, which is what I thought. Okay, so um, in the recording, you'll be able to see it. Um, how I captured the, the video URL. Um, so you can use these same videos. They, it looks like they're on YouTube videos. Um, so you'll definitely be able to capture those if you want to use the same videos or you can use your own videos. Uh, but basically, once you get into your LSN system, uh, you can use the drag and drop edi editor. And okay. you, I would probably just go through the wizard um, all the new pages that I create, which you have the new pages uh, in MSI, you have that in your back office, you have a new customer link in your links to promote. Right. I built that all completely with the drag and drop editor. So if you like the way that that looks in your back office, you can build that all in LSN with the drag and drop editor just using the wizard. So I wanted to go through and build it with the wizard just so it would be that simplistic that anybody else could go and build those same exact pages. Okay. Um, but, you know, once we get into the wizard, you'll want to make sure that you select the one with a play button on it because that means you can insert a video. And it'll already be okay. ready for a video, and then you can just give it the link for the video. And then once you give it the link, okay. it'll, it'll pop that video right in there for you. The other thing that I would do that might be something a little bit new to you is creating a contact group and making an autoresponder campaign for that group. 
that's new to me. I have no idea. Okay. I'm lost. Even when you explain it to me, you explained it to me one time before. It was like a foreign language. Gotcha. Well, the LSN popped that out and they put it in the menu now. So it's a little bit easier to, to identify and create. Um, so okay. what you want to do is you'll go to the manager contact groups and then there's a box there to add a new group and you can title it Jeunesse. You can title it, you know, secret, whatever you want to label it. And then you'll add that contact group. Once you've added that contact group, it'll pop up in your, in, in a list that's on that same page and then there'll be a little clipboard with a pencil and you'll have that there and then if you need to change anything from that you know if you need to change the name or whatever or if you have a different email that you want to send out like if they gave you a marketing email or anything like that you can change all that there and then what you'll want to okay. do is click on autoresponders after you've created the group and you'll want to there's a blue button there that will say add an auto response message and then you'll have another drop down that will let you pick the new group that you created. So once you select that group. Okay, I've seen that before. Okay. Okay. So once you select that group, then you'll click add and you'll be able to start writing a message. And what you'll want to write in that first message, it'll probably be something along the lines of an intro message. But if you want to go on the effects of having like a free sample, you may want to ask them, hey, what's your address? You know, so I can send you the free sample and you'll send that out to them right away. That way you get an email interaction from that person instantly. So you can tell them, you know, if you do your own video, you can say, hey, fill this form out and you'll get an instant email from me that you can reply to with your address so I can send you a free sample. Because then that creates the, the interaction. Or you can have the capture page built where it includes address. So those are the two options that you can have, but you'll probably want to put something either in the video or write it on that page, fill this out for a free sample. Okay. Which you can do on, on both the, the either writing on the capture page or you can do it um, in a video, um, either or. And I can show you, uh, if you need help linking to videos, like say you want to play a Jeunesse video and then you want to have a, your video at the end of that, just let me know and I can get those set up for you and merge those together. Okay, now, I'm, I'm looking at the, re the respond tools in the tool suite at LFN. Yes. So when he said, um, so that's where I would go if you autoresponder, is that correct? Correct. Okay, I see, okay. And I would so the email say, autoresponder is what, what I would I would choose, right? Correct. Yeah, that's where you're gonna write your email campaign. Okay. So that okay, I see it. I understand now. Yeah, that I would I would probably do a campaign for at least three weeks. Um, I, would, okay. I would say write an instant message that says, hey, you know, the, if you if you do it to where you build the page and you already collect their address, then I would, you know, have your instant email say, hey, I'll send you your free sample. You'll have it, you know, within a week or 10 days or whatever the time frame is that it, it should take you to process. Give yourself at least three days to process the order and then like seven to 10 days for the ship. That way it, okay. it, it'll right. probably get there way sooner. But that way they are not expecting to get it, you know, within two or three days and it doesn't come for like a week and a half, you know, if something happens. I understand. Um, and then so after you've got that message, you know, depending on which pathway that you go, that instant message will change, whether it's collecting their address or if it's, you know, telling them, hey, your free sample is going to be on the way. Um, I would send another message after that. So create a second auto response message and and you'll have a drop when you're creating the message. You'll have a section at the bottom that will let you know how many days. So I would make sure that that one, the first one's going to be uh, an instant. So that one's going to be an instant. instant, right? And then the second one, I would put it at either seven, eight, or nine days, just depending on how long. I'm not sure how long the shipping is for Jeunesse on sending out their samples, but you'll want to make okay, sure. I have a sample. I, I have a sample. It's okay. It comes from me. Oh, okay. Well, then, yeah, you know, and then it'll probably be there in a couple of days. So then I would go with seven. And then after seven days, you know, have another email message that automatically goes out saying, hey, you know, you, um, you know, you should have received your free sample by now. Definitely, you know, 
give me a call or message me on Facebook or however you want them to contact you or reply to this email. Let me know what you thought of the sample. Let me know your, your opinions on it. If you, if you know, or even in your first email, you can ask them to do a product review or a video when they use their sample too. And then the second email will just be following up on that sample. And then I would send a third email another week after that, maybe eight or nine days. And then ask them, you know, if they want additional products, you know, if they want to order, uh, you know, anything else, if they want to see any other products, uh, I would link it back to your website that has additional videos or information on that third one. And then a final fourth message that will go out to them, you know, probably maybe I would say probably you want to do it maybe like 45 days later. And you'll, you'll want to say in that one, you want to present a little bit of the opportunity. Okay, so the last one should have the opportunity in there. Correct. Okay. So you'll, you'll, you'll space yeah, you them out. If, yeah, you had so many information before on Sue's Rocks. Mm -hmm. I had the same information before um, you had told me about an autoresponder. We used golden one, this golden it then over there. Gotcha. So I had some of this information, but then <clears throat> it looked different from, I could tell the software was the same, but somehow when I tried to do the email responder, I, I, I got confused. Yeah, I just got really confused. Gotcha. So yeah. when you just explain it to me, it just all came back to memory because you, you had told me this before. Nice. So yeah, then, time once before. you see the video as well, it'll probably click as well. Um, you know, definitely the autoresponder, that's probably going to help close out a lot of those leads for you and get them either ordering a second product or having them join in the business with you on a more automated portion because you're already doing good with the marketing if you've gotten 100 leads. So now that autoresponder is just going to do a little bit more work for you uh, to get, you know, to get those people a little bit, you know, farther down the road. Um, you know, as far as either getting more products and getting customers built or actually getting a distributor, you know. So just um, spacing those out, it would be the first instant email, then a week later, and then a week after that, and then 45 days from the initial email, you'll want to send out the, the fourth and final one. Okay, I have another question. And I, this is what I want. I like your opinion. Mm hmm because you're my mentor, so I, I value your opinion. Now, like I say, you know, you know, my end result is having a website like uh, Amaz Amazon. Yes. I have various amount, various types of products. What I'm finding is, okay, I can start promoting, 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 not promote Jeanette, but Jeanette, Jeanette, Jeanette. Mm -hmm. But because people are so used to me promoting Jeanette, when they see me start promoting something else, they can't get with it. Is it that because I'm promoting something else? Or is it that they just like your next products more instead of what I'm the other product I'm promoting? It, because they're all weight loss. It, it is, it, I do a lot with weight loss, okay? That's my main goal, weight loss, hair, and beauty, okay? Okay. So I have, you know, so you know you have your top line weight loss product. Mm -hmm. Then you have your middle, your middle. Then you have your low budget. Okay, yes. so I do. I have my top. Then that's my top line. Mm -hmm. Then I have another company I'm with. You know, another like is my middle. And then I have my something that everybody can afford. A fifty bucks, everybody can afford it. And but it's much more work to do with the weight loss. So, but I'm finding out when I promote these um, products that. People will tell me, oh, I see you promoting Jeanette and you're promoting something else too. How can you do that? So I was talking about the marketing system, but still they people are acting like, oh, you know, I, they can't get with the fact that I'm promoting two or three products at the same, you know, two or three different products. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't see a problem with it. I feel like I'm a store. I see myself as a store, okay? Yeah. So a store has different type of products. And when I explain that, some will understand it. But I'm having an issue with people not getting with the other things, and they do the same thing. Like mm -hmm. Janice's weight loss. So if I go to another weight loss product, 
it does the same thing, but they might they can they might can afford it, but they can't get with it because they say, "Well, I thought you was doing some genetics. and I said, "I haven't stopped doing genetics, but I'm doing something else as well." So, um, what do you feel about that? How do you feel about that? Well, that's that's just getting the 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 proper message across, um, you know, which is why I created the MSI concept the way that I did, and it's labeled the MSI concept. So it's no longer I'm promoting Janess, I'm promoting this product, I'm promoting that product. I'm promoting one thing that encompasses all things. So yeah, that, and that's why I always you'll see me promote start talking about MSI because I get that so much. You always saying why you, you put with Janess and that's all the time. I promote a lot of things all the time. Yes. With the MSI concept. And that's and, why, and, you know, I might get a spurt of people come in a spurt two or three people might come in and look at my site because they'll see that. But I get a lot of people that says, you know, that I shouldn't be I should be partial to one and I see myself as a store. I don't see myself as partial to one at all. I just see I'm giving something I'm giving a customer what they need. Yeah, and, that, and that just, yeah, that just comes down to people with a limited, you know, vision um, that they they feel okay. they've been told by so many people that you can only do one that you can't, you can't, you can't do more than one, you can't do this, you can't do that. It just doesn't work. Okay. Doesn't work. You know, so that's what they've been beat over the head with by all of their leaders in every other company that they've been in, and they've probably been in multiple companies. So for them to come back and tell you that you can only do one, ask them how many companies have they been in. So I guarantee it's three or four or five or pl or more. Okay. And, you know, if it came down to you can only do one, well, why are you in, why have you been through four different companies? You know, the way that I'm doing it here is I have a reason behind why I'm offering multiple different products, and that is to attract customers of that niche in multiple different levels. You know, based on price range, based on, you know, the product type, whether it be, you know, a pill or, a, or, or a, you know, a, a liquid or, you know, a powder, depending on the, the delivery system of that particular product, I have a different company that does it. But the whole overarching, okay. you know, portion of it is the same thing, you know, with any, as, as you're saying, you're becoming a store. When you go into Walmart or Best Buy to buy a TV, there's not one brand of TVs. You know, there's no exactly. one brand of anything. So, you know, that, that's what you're, you're doing with sharing multiple brands is you're, you, you, that's a good analogy for it is that you are a store and you have different price points for the different product lines. So, you know, you say, I work with certain product lines. You know, it, it not, it's not okay, about the way to put it. Okay. Yeah, it's I work with particular product lines. So I work with weight. Okay. So people can come to me for weight loss and I'm going to give them the best product in that category out of all the ones that I have access to. So, you know, then. Okay, that's awesome. Okay. So that's what it comes down to is, you know, you're, you're focused on the product line. It doesn't matter about the company. It doesn't matter the brand. The customer at the okay, end of the day Okay, that's awesome. That's a good, that's a good way to put it. I never – see, that's awesome. Thank you. That's a better way to say it because I'd be getting – you know, I don't get, I don't get stuck. It's mm -hmm. just I don't say it that clean the way you just said it. So, that's, okay. Okay. All right. Um, a couple more questions. I've had a busy week this week. Um, okay, Tyson. All right, here goes. Mm -hmm. um, last – not week before last, Tyson – had a very long talk with me, mm -hmm. saying he wants me to do videos or on training. Okay, mm -hmm. I, what type of video should I do or what training? What type of training? Because the essence I have is about training. I said, no, I just talk about whole based business in general, why you should get a, have whole based business. Like I said, I want a store. So I really don't concentrate on a certain method because Mine is a little different than having a system, okay? So he said I need to do training, so he wants to put a training when he do um, open network at 3.0 or something like that, whatever. He wants to put a training in there with me. What what, what should I do about that? I mean, I am I don't think I'm ready for anything like that yet. I mean, but he asked what last week. He asked what week before last. He asked about it last week. So I'm kind of like, I'm at the, 
my back against the wall and do a training and train it on what? What am I, you think I am? Am I proficient enough to do a training? Do you think I could do a training? I mean, uh, there's, there's probably people with less skills and less knowledge and less experience that have put out videos. The thing is you don't have to think too much about the video. Let it, let it go out. Just like you did your first YouTube video, just, just put yeah. it out there and then you can constantly compound on it as things change, as things grow, as things get better. Cause all that's really going to change in that back office is changing the YouTube link. So if you do one video and you have it up for, you know, a month, two months, whatever the case may be, you can always do a better one later and change it after the fact, you know, if you figure out something else that you want to talk okay. about. But really when it comes down to the training, I mean, it, it, for me, it, it, I just look at a particular topic and then um, a time window that I'm that I'm training in. So if the if the training's supposed to be less than ten minutes, or it's going to be fifteen minutes, or you know however long it's supposed to be, and then you just look to fill that time space. So you know what you'll talk end up talking about, and what I usually that's why I usually record these and do the screen shares because then I can follow through on the screen and show you a couple of different things. You know the walkthroughs and the how tos. You don't even have to really be you know, so much as a trainer, but if you can say, here's what you click on, here's where you go, and this is what you should follow to process this, just a quick how-to video, like this is how you get to your drag and drop editor. This is how you, you know, create a new page. This is how you go through the wizard. You know, it could be something like that to where you're just directing people through following the bouncing ball. You know, you could go through and record a video on you creating your new page and just record it while you're doing it. So, you know, you, you, it could be okay. something like that to where you're just, you're just having people following steps or if you wanted to get like some type of training type content, you can pick a topic and really dive into that topic, you know, whether it be posting on Facebook or po adding to your page, how you got leads, how you drive, drove some traffic to your page. It could be any one of those type of topics. Um, I'm sure Tyson will give you an idea if he wants a specific topic talked about. Um, but really, with Tyson, any we'll let any just about anything you want to talk about go up there. You know, um, you know, he'd asked me to do some training. That's why LSN has my LinkedIn training in the back, in the back office. And he just asked me to talk about LinkedIn for 20 minutes. So I did. Um, you know, and it was just a quick 20 minute training that went into LSN, and you know, it was just. Here's, here's your profile. Here's how you set it up. Here's your link to your profile. Here's how you market it. Here's what I did. Here's how I got followers. Here's how I developed content on LinkedIn. Here's what I post. You know, and you just talk about a what you know. You pick that topic and you just talk about what you do it, uh, in regards to that specific topic. Or you can do follow these steps, like kind of like a, a how-to video. So those are pretty much two of the of the simpler styles of doing videos. Um, when you're doing a training type video that I, I think you'll be perfect for in either of those two styles. Okay. All right. I have one more question. I'm done. Mm -hmm. um, okay. I, I had another mentor before you, her uh, name is Boomy Moore, and she believes being on the phone, picking up mm -hmm. the phone, calling your prospect, building a relationship that way. Now, you know, when Tyson, I like his method, you know, if you – Put it out on the, you know, on the, on the system. Make it easy for everybody to understand. They don't have to pick up the phone. But, you know, this is a computer, mobile, you know, mobile app age. So you don't have to pick up the phone. Now, I, I have a, I don't know, I don't know which is better, the phone or the computer. See, I'm used to doing things by the computer now mm -hmm. because you know this method has been working. I know how to make things easy for people, and I know how to. I don't use something to be back in my hand. I'm trying to talk to a person about what to do. Yeah, when it comes down to that, it really is based on the other person. So, um, it, I, you know, I'm not. Is that something calling? Is that really still in anymore? Calling people and building a relationship that way? It can be. I mean, it. it oh, is it? I can still build a relationship. I'm sorry. You wait. I'm sorry. No, no. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So definitely either way, it really kind of depends on who you're talking to. 
So, I mean, it, it, it's what's going to resonate with that person. If a phone call is better for them, like I have some people that like to call and talk to me on the phone. You know, other people, they want nothing but email. Other people want Facebook messages. Other people just want videos, you know, that will tell them how to do it. Um, you know, so it, it really kind of depends on the person themselves that you're talking to and what medium speaks to them the best. But, I mean, okay. it, it, can it, it can work either way. Now, the thing that that happens with the phone is it's all one-to-one. -one. So, you know, you, have, you right. spend a lot more time with that prospect on the one-to-one -one than if you did it by any other source of media. Because you're only going to have, you know, you're only going to have so many people that are connecting on that phone call. Hello? Damn. Yeah, still there? Okay, all right. All right. So, um, you know, with that, with the, the people that are connecting on that phone call that are, that are just, uh, you know, one-to-one, -one, um, you know, it can take a little bit longer, but you can do it, you know, and, and LSN does have the dialer method now too as well. So you can use that, um, you know, when you go into your leads, you can call a group. So uh, we click on the call group button and you can call an entire, you know, contact group that you have. And so, you know, using that dialer system, you can make a lot of calls throughout the day. Um, you know, I used to use a dialer back in like 2012, and you know, it was effective. You can get a lot of contacts, um, especially using a dialer system. That's what I told Tyson it had to be in there. Um, I pushed for that to, to come on board because I know there's a lot of marketers that still use that style, and I know that it can be effective. But it, it is time consuming. That that's one thing that you'll have to invest time into doing. And uh, you know, okay, I thought, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, but she talked to me about that a lot. And okay, I tell people don't spam your ads on Facebook. Mm -hmm. I tell people, you know, if you build, you know, build up your brand, you don't have to spam. Yep. But. Um, where, you know, like I said, my, my mentor and the group I'm in, you know, was Jeanette, mm. people be spamming all day and they say that works. Now, I don't spam. So she was telling me, you know, she had a long talk with me this week because she said I should have more people with the, I have 5,000 friends. I said, well, I can see that you say that. She said, I don't see you post a lot about Jeanette. I said, I post enough. I said, I have enough followers that they're going to take it. They're going, they're going to see it. They're going to take it. I said, you can't, I mean, spam is not going to make them take it anymore. You know, and it, it, you said, it's all about numbers, but you are spamming the same people. I want to talk to new people. So, um, but people, they believe in still spamming their ads. Now, Tyson, he's not to do that. So, I mean, is that something that's still in? You go spam your ads in different groups? No, so I did it once this week, and I felt so. I felt like I wasn't getting the message across anyway. It didn't yeah. do anything. Yeah, what happens with spamming is, it, you know, it becomes the numbers game, and you'll get quantity over quality. And what usually happens with those spammer type people, it's not duplicatable. They continue to spam, spam, spam. Get new people, get new people, get new people. And what happens is those people drop out. They drop out. Right. That's right. Yeah. So, you know, that's why me and Tyson go teach that method in, in spamming your link because we know nobody is going to follow that up. It literally becomes luck yeah. of the draw. Okay. You know, if you're spamming your link everywhere and if somebody comes to follow you and they spam right behind you, then you guys are now triple spamming the same people. It's gonna exactly. That's how I feel about that. You know, you're only marketing okay. to the same exact people as you're saying, you know, and – and it, then it, you, the people that would have been really good to work with, they get turned off by it because it, now it, it, it just becomes an advertisement, which nobody really wants to look at ads anymore. I mean, the only ads exactly. that people really look at are comedy ones just because they're funny. You know, if, if it doesn't have a comedic value to it, then there isn't really anything to spam for it. You know, for a business opportunity, 
if you start expanding it and people see more and more of it, you know, as an advertisement, that's going to cost them more and more money. If they have no interest in the products, they're not going to jump on that business unless they were already looking at that business to begin with. Which you know. Okay, that I, I, you, I, I thought so. Like yeah. I said, I've seen it. And like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm so grateful that I met you and Tyson because um, I, the, what y'all have taught me in a year, year and a half, I, you know, I wasted three years listening to a spamming and things that didn't really didn't work at all. Mm -hmm. If I had found y'all years ago, I would be a millionaire by now. Okay. Because the, what the information that y'all have given me thus far, I have totally upgraded myself from where I was before, where I, were, I was uh, two years ago. So I have to say, I thank you and Tyson as well. I told him too, because he's still giving the same. Uh, struggle. And then I broke because I, I was broke. So I want to make a difference, but it's like the people out here are still teaching that same type of mentality of spamming and then calling. Everybody don't pick don't have a home a lot of people don't have home phones anymore. Yeah. So it's like calling, we don't have time for that. So I don't teach that calling. I teach if you make the system easy enough for you to understand, they'll sign up while you sleep. Because exactly. that's what that's what I want, you know. So I, I said I just gotta thank you for you and I think Tyson as well for teaching me because this is the way I see that will work for anybody, not just someone that know how to do it. If this will work for the person that has never done it, then come in all directions and they can make money. And that's where I this is what I want to do. And this is why I want to you got the people that were like me. And this is how they able me to do so. So um, I thank you again for taking time with me, for teaching me all these skills that I did not know. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's always good to learn new things and, you know, and expand your knowledge. And that way you can reach even, you know, more people, you know, and, and that's, you know, with looking at, you know, the people that are spamming and jamming, you know, and, and just throwing their link out there. The people that sign up for that, I mean, there's there's no there's no real skill involved in that. That that isn't something that can duplicate and resonate with you know the people that they're following. It's like, oh yeah, I just threw my link out on Facebook. Well, you throwing your link out on Facebook and the next person doing it aren't going to have the same results. Yeah, if you True. follow a system and you do the exact steps. The same exact steps. You're gonna create this. You're gonna set up this account. You're gonna part. You're gonna market this way. You'll find people here, here, here. You know, just like I did the finding customers training video in the MSI back office. Those different steps and techniques will allow people to learn the skills to do this at, with any company. So you can build it with anything that you're marketing, any product that you want to sell, any type of people that you want to reach out to. Because the people that they're gonna get with those links are going to be the same type of people that are going to quit in you know in 60 days if they're not if they're not making anything they're going to quit really fast if they signed up really fast you know in the wrong way they're going to quit really fast they're not going to put as much time and effort into it until they make a decision to really go after it but you know when you have a system set up you'll know who's really going to go after it because they're going to have steps to follow and they're and it's going to be in an automated process to where they're going to feel better connection better learning you know more information is given to them than any other system before because most of the other mentors are just like hey yeah go post your link everywhere you'll get people that's no real type of training that's no real type of support it's not you know that's not it's that's not, not helping them succeed at all no, it's not. Yeah, you know, so no, it's not. and 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 that's what they've taught, and that's all they know. They don't. They they got basically luck of the draw. Started posting a link out, say, "Hey, check out this new deal. Check out this new deal," and it was based on the luck of the person that it ran across at that time that they even looked at it. You know that that's not going to happen all the time, and it's it's not something that's duplicatable by any. Means. You know, Facebook has a very you know small spamming advertising space you know there's only going to be so many people that are going to actually 
take a look at that ad. And if everybody's posting the same thing, you guys are, they're actually hurting each other because they're going to end up on one person's yeah. links rather than the other. That's true. So, I mean, you know, there's, there's no real teamwork in that method. There's, there's no help. There's no insist. There's no consistency. You know, it's, it's just luck, you know, not even, I wouldn't say luck. It's just, it, it's spam. You know, it, it, it just happens to hit, you know, the right person at the right time, you know, that they're going through, exactly. spam, you know, whether they, their company just fell through their, their leader just left them, you know, whatever happened to have happened that got them to click on that link wasn't anything in particular in that link. That ad copy you know, rarely works, um, you know, which is, you know, I have a lot of people that ask me about solo ads and doing the same thing. I was like, yeah, you can, you know, it, you, you, you can get some hits, but it's not, it's not something that's duplicatable. And, you know, the people that you got with that method aren't going to be able to follow the same thing you did. You know, they, you got them, but you know, what, what are they going to do to get other people? They can't follow the same thing that you're doing because then they're going to be posting to the same people you're posting. To. You know, so then it, do you just, believe it? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Do you like traffic, traffic exchanges? Do you use those? I really have shied away from them in the last, you know, since like 2009, where it really started to, okay. um, really, it's not really a traffic exchange anymore. What a lot of these right, is not. rev share type places are popping up now is you buy these ad packs and they cycle those through the other members. So it comes back to the yep. same thing of spamming your link. You're just posting it to the same people over and over again that are running in a circle just to try and get, you know, credits for views to, to qualify their rev share ad pack. They don't really care what they're viewing. Half the time they click on it, don't even look at it. They're just waiting for a timer to expire so they can click the next button. So, you know, that's what happens in a lot of these so-called traffic exchanges that are built nowadays is you're just cycling through members. You don't have any real exactly. base. You're not getting into any new viewers and it's not something that's searchable. You're inside of a closed network advertising space. Exactly. You know, that's why I always teach on, you know, posting on Blogger because it's in Google and people are going to search via Google. So when they go out to start searching for stuff, you're going to be, you know, in the search terms. So that's exactly that's um, where you want to start developing and building traffic by having organic search material where people are finding you rather than putting it into a so-called traffic exchange where you're saying you, you're basically spamming saying, Hey, I'll look at mine. If you look at, I'll look at yours. If you look at mine, but nobody's really looking at anything cause they're just waiting for the timer to expire. Timeable, exactly. So, I mean, I they, used to, they used to be decent before, you know, where they would actually have before, you know, pop up ads and all that stuff where ads are on everything. You know, now people are just really sensitized, desensitized to ads. So, you know, they're used to seeing ads. Ads are always going to pop up, and they're used to rejecting them and ignoring them. You can see every time on YouTube when it pops up, when it says skip this ad in five seconds, 99% of the time it gets clicked to skip the ad. If people can skip it, they're going to skip true. the ad. So, you know, people are desensitized and don't want to see advertisement anymore unless they're looking for it. So that's why you want to be – you know, you want to have that in Google to where it's searchable and people can find it because that's when they're actually going to want to look at it. So if they, if they're not looking for it, they're not going to want to look at it, which is, it's, it's just the day and age that we live in right now. And that's how I feel about, you know, traffic exchanges and people just running in a, in a, basically a circle, you know, as far as their views are, are, are concerned. There's not really anybody truly interested in looking at your site. Okay. So All right. Well, good questions. That was a lot. I had to, that was a lot I asked, but it was, it was direct. I knew what I was looking for. Cause these are little problems I came across this week. We can have I've come across these mm -hmm. issues. Um, so, um, thank you for taking time out for helping me today. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, that was it. I'm done. All right. It's always a pleasure, Leslie. You know, anytime you need something, just let me know and we'll get a session set up. All right. Thank you very much. All right. You're welcome. I'll have this recording up for you as soon as I can. I'll shoot the link over to you.
All right. Thank you again. All right. You have a good one. You do as well. Bye. Bye.